and welcome to Pass the Mic. Today I have the pleasure of hanging out with my soul sister, my sexy number one, <laughs> the one and only Reverend Bonnie Rose. Say hello to the people. Hi, everybody. I'm <laughs> Reverend Bonnie Rose hanging out with my sexy soul sister, Gina Walker. <laughs> it's just the best. So, Bonnie, what's our song today? Holy, Holy Way by Ricky Waters. Ah, love it. Okay. okay. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Let me love, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me live in a holy, holy way. Let me live, let me live in a holy, holy way. And let me share the love that's overflowing. Let me share, let me share the love that's overflowing. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Let me love, let, let me, me love, love in a holy, holy, holy way. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the song of the week. Open up your heart, let that love fly in. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Oh, wait, but you're interviewing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already, she wants to take over. I she wants I to take over. Yeah. Now, the last time I was in Ventura, California, mm -hmm. um, you were on your way to India. Yes. How was that? It was wonderful. It was a really beautiful, life-changing experience. Uh, I went and stayed at a, a place uh, in uh, Ahmedabad, which is where Gandhi is from. Oh. And I was there with um, about 60 other leaders in compassion and kindness and so we we did a lot of work together a lot of talking a lot of just being together a lot of service and uh meditating and it was it was just wonderful oh wow yeah. so how long was the plane ride <laughs> <laughs> well the plane ride was um it's it's about 30 hours door to door with layovers and whatnot mm. um but the biggest leg of the trip was about 16 hours, and that was from Los Angeles to Dubai. Ah, uh, yeah. Dubai! Yeah. Yeah. That was a layover in Dubai? Just a brief one, yeah. Oh, I yeah. want to go to the Dubai. Yeah. Du -du 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 Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could go there, you could also go to Dubai. Just one day. <laughs> For spelling, now speaking! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. So wow, thirty hours. Yeah, you've got a lot of frequent uh, flyer miles. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I would if I registered with the thing, but Come you know, it was on. really what was cool about it is I used to be really afraid of flying, and then I I used to be really bored with flying, and then <laughs> since I've been sort of doing this work, I just look at it as an opportunity to serve. So I look mm. for all kinds of opportunities on the plane to serve, and there there are really? opportunities to serve. Yeah, wow, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so. So you kept yourself busy? Yes. Oh my goodness. When I wasn't sleeping. When you <laughs> <laughs> or watching bad television. <laughs> no movies? Uh, no, I, I watched some, well, there were lots of movies to choose from, but I got caught up in television. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you yeah. know, yeah. something catches Good. us. I hardly ever get to watch So it. now in India, I, I've been told so many stories about India, mm -hmm. how it's like one of the holiest of holy places. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that energy? You feel something. I'm not sure what it is, but you, don't, <laughs> you feel something. Um, and you know, it's I was I was there with a very holy group of people, um, and I think that was part of it too. That everybody there was so that in my group was so dedicated to service. Mm. Like I would I would go I'd finish eating, and um, they had volunteers that were serving us, and I'd finish eating, I'd finish my meal, and I'd go to wash my own dish because that's the polite oh. thing to do. But a volunteer would be like watching me to see what I was doing. I'm running over, grab the dish out of my plate, we'd be tugging it back and forth. And finally you know, Lady, I, let it go. I know I had to let the volunteer win and you know, so we were they waited on us hand and foot. They just served us constantly. But yeah, there there is a holiness to it. Mm, um, mm. there's you know I think also particularly in this area in the land of Gandhi, there's this whole sort of Gandhi um, essence there that we we worked with a lot and it was beautiful. Well, that had to be very interesting because sometimes it's tough to let people serve you. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Here you are yeah. fighting with the person. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you finally surrendered and like, okay, 
the mon- the monkey brain is not saying this is right, this is yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. What was that release like for you? Could you enjoy it? <sighs> yeah, absolutely. I could enjoy it, and and at the same time, I realized what a what a privilege it was to be honored in that way. You know, and mm-hmm. and it it kind of helped me rethink the service that I do here. That it's it's not only it's it's not only a privilege to be served, but it's also a privilege to serve. So, ah, yeah. isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Did you just do a shameless plug? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Here, if it was shameless, like <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're here at the Center for Spiritual Living Ventura, and we're in the garden area. It's really beautiful. The fragrance is absolutely magnificent. How long have you been the minister here? I've been here for a little over 14 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to take some pictures so you can see, because it looks like a steeple. (laughs) The church is on the corner, and it's in a beautiful neighborhood, but it does kind of have a little... You know, you could do a Halloween movie here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Easily. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. Now, I also know that you did Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to bring that up, didn't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, should I give you the G-rated version of the story? <laughs> yeah. So when I lived in New York, I, I had a degree in nursing and a degree in music. So ah. I was I was pursuing a career in opera. But I happened to be married to an actor who was on Broadway from various things. So um, there was a, a show where the understudy got sick, and my husband was like, "You can do this part." So I went. It and pays I, to know people. Yeah, see. I, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I slept my way to the top. <laughs> but it was with my husband. All right. Like that. That makes a difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I auditioned for this party. He had to teach me how to speak in a British accent oh. in, in like, you know, two hours. And, two hours. and I did it. <laughs> and then I, I ended up getting the part of the understudy. And then the understudy came back. She she was out longer than we thought, so I did I did it for a while. I never had to go on stage, which was like a huge relief to me. <laughs> um, and then <laughs> there was this tour of a Broadway show. It was called Let Us and Lovage. And Maggie Smith did it on Broadway, and Julie Harris did the tour. So there was... Um, I was very attached to my animals. I, I, maybe Gina will get into that later. I love animals dearly, and we just had one cat at the time. Another plug. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we had um, this beautiful white cat, and the show had a live cat on stage, and it had small part, a small part that I could handle. My husband could have either played the male lead or understudied the male lead, and so we presented ourselves to a package, and we got cast in the tour of this nas- national tour of a Broadway show, okay. and I was the cat handler. I had a small part, and um, my husband had a uh, was the understudy of one of the leads, and so we did that for a year. Wow! Yeah, it was really fun. That great. had to, you guys toured all over, huh? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah. that's awesome! The states, the United States, and Canada. Oh, yeah. very yeah. cool, very cool. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So I, I, I meant to ask you when you were in India, mm-hmm. did because she loves sex jokes. Did you get? <laughs> <laughs> did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. I, I, love, I love to tease She's her just about lying sex. All over the place. <laughs> no risque jokes that you no, say. No, I'm too pure for that. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. <laughs> I'm just a little nun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done so many amazing things, and yes, yeah, she is a big animal lover. But wait, wait, what is what? What about Indian sex jokes? I want to understand that connection. Well, the connection is because she has a great sense of humor, okay. and so I was wondering if you know, during a couple of maybe after a meditation or right before you guys went to bed, <laughs> you saw something that you just had to express. <laughs> you just had to let it out. Yeah. <laughs> From time to time, but I don't really know your audience. So I'm not sure. You know, there, there were moments where, where I couldn't stop laughing. There, there was this one guy that I that I hung out with a lot, and he was very irreverent, too. Uh, In fact, you know, a lot of the people there at this ashram were very, very holy. And, and this I could just tell about this guy. And, and I went, we were going someplace on a bus, and I sat down next to him, and I'm like, we got to be friends. we got to be friends. Everybody here is so pure. I need somebody I can be irreverent with. And sure enough, we hit it off, and we're still good friends. Oh, so. very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't. I didn't. She didn't want to tell me what they said, but I know. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> There's the connection. There's the connection. <laughs> right. Um, so, getting to your animals. Yes. You do have two. Be- is it? 
Just doggies? Two, no, I have. Do you want to hear what I have? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we've got two two dogs, two Hungarian pointers that are vishlas. Yeah, they're um, beautiful. They're, they're beautiful dogs. They're, they're almost the color. Yeah. 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 A little yeah, bit. Yeah. A little bit yeah, rustier. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. 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 We, we in the hood. We in the hood. Yeah. We in the hood. We in the hood. I don't know if that's politically correct. <laughs> oh God, is anything politically nothing correct is. these days? No, no, nothing is. Breathing is yes, almost. I know. I'm, I'm culturally appropriating here with a, a paisley scarf that uh, looks very Indian. But you might be able to tell that I'm not actually Indian. Just, you know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So anyway, we've got the two vishlas. We've got um, we've got a cat, a rescue cat. Ah. Um, we have uh, two box turtles. Who you've met. Oh, I did meet the turtles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah I forgot. Yeah, and then we have. Have um, a bunch of cockatiels. I think we're, we are eight right Ooh, now. Oh, really? Yeah. And we have um, goldfish, and then we're going to get a Flemish giant <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> uh, at the end of July, we're getting a Flemish giant, which are bunnies that are like 20 pounds. They're really they big, are big. humongous. Yeah. They, they're bigger than a dog. Yeah, bigger than some I'm going to show you the picture of them because I have a picture of Easter yes, when I was here. Yes, we were here at Easter. Yeah, yeah, this thing came up to me like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter Cottontail. Yeah. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> right. <laughs> And the church, you guys are creating a rabbit habitat? Uh, it's called the Rabbitat, Gino. The Rabbitat. <laughs> the Rabbitat. <laughs> yes. like, oh, oh. Yeah. What is that? Well, so we're, we're getting rescue bunnies at the church to help us in our, in our uh, mission and vision of, of bringing more kindness into the world. Oh. So part of the, the mission of the, the rescue bunnies, they don't, they don't know it yet, but <laughs> we're going to... Putting um, them to the work already. Yeah, we're putting them <laughs> to the work, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to help teach the children about kindness and animal oh. care. Um, we're also teaching the whole congregation about the cycle of life because we're growing some of their food and we're composting their waste. And um, wow, yeah, and we're going to use the waste in the in the garden and like that. And then we also are hoping to have one be a therapy animal, so when congregants get oh. sick, we can bring the the bunny to see the congregant. And then there's the whole cycle of we're having a rotation of volunteers care for the bunnies. So we're all invested in these in these sweet little ambassadors of goodwill. They're not here yet. We're almost rabbit ready, but we're very cl and we're very close. <laughs> well, the garden. I just saw the garden over yes, there. It's it looks beautiful. Right? Yeah. I was like, well, this is cute, but how much of this do they share with the <laughs> congregation? Well, she just feed herself. No, <laughs> oh, no, it's not my garden. I didn't make it. There's another we've, another big garden too that's sort of hidden from from the world, but it's kind of a secret garden. Ah, but, that's the um, one behind. I yeah, saw. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, we're gonna use some of the food for the rabbits, and then um, our gardener. Our, our, we have a congregant who's an, a really avid gardener. He's oh. going to um, give it to various uh, people in the congregation that might be in need or just in want and uh, we also have an organization in Ventura called Food Forward where they they take uh, produce and they give it to families in need so oh. and one of the people there works uh, is at our who works there is at our center as a practitioner it rubs off when you do yes, it yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> just starts your mind is going yeah. like this and your mouth is going like no, this. that's right <laughs> i know no i know we've got <laughs> we've got so much going on so much goodwill going on here it's just amazing i love that yeah, i think really that's good. really awesome it's very cool um, you're really creating so much community yeah and yeah helping people because a lot of times people don't know how to create community besides giving money yeah and there's so many ways to bring people together to support people mm -hmm. uh, that's really awesome may I share another way that we're creating please community? Okay. I would yeah. love that this is the bunny rose that's show right. you know what I meant to I meant to give you a heart pin before oh, we did in fact you can have this one if you want that's beautiful give a little plug for a heart pin so these these pins are made in, in India, and the story behind them, here it is, it's, it's a heart beautiful. pin. The story behind them is that um, uh, the, the state where we were in India is a dry state, meaning that they're not supposed to drink, oh. but they do. <laughs> Some people do. And there's a lot of drinking, of course, in, in the slums because of the poverty, and you know, there's a lot of despair and whatnot. So um, there's this group of women that in a particular section of the slums that were not allowed to work outside of the home and they found that their some of their husbands were you know using the money for alcohol mm -hmm. so service space the organization that i went with came in and um gave these women a craft that they could do in their home and these are hand sewn oh. heart pins and they offer them on a gift economy basis so you can you can order them in fact i'll give you the link if you want yes we'll have the yeah. link the link yes. the link the link the link the link, 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 link below <laughs> okay <Yes. laughs> yeah you can order them and you you pay whatever you want for them or you can also just get them for free but i i 
pay for them. I give, I give them money, I give them a donation, uh, because I feel like every time I do that, I'm helping another woman transcend poverty and transcend despair. And so we learned how to make them when we were in India. They're actually much harder than they look. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, the, the people that make them were not too impressed with my sewing skills. <laughs> but anyway. Are they going, oh, these are Bonnie's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. These are the special arts <laughs> that we give to like. Put them the, over there. Yes, we give them to, um, you know, the cows. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, we use them in our. We started using them in our center to give to newcomers, so mm. so newcomers would would feel welcome, and also so people could identify people as new. It has not worked really well because people see the hearts, and everybody wants a heart. <laughs> so we're like, you know, you've been here for twelve years. What are you doing? But, you can't have a heart. Yeah, yeah. So we're just we're just pretty open. We give them to everybody, and we distribute them all around the community. Oh. So like after the after the Ventura fires, we gave a lot of hearts out. We gave hearts to um, a couple of veterinarians that were doing a lot of work in the community. Um, we give them to, uh, you know, police officers, Starbucks, mm. all kinds of places. We just pass out these hearts as a message of goodwill. And what's also really wonderful is that the women in India just love it when we tell stories about where the hearts have gone. Oh, and their hearts I have gone all that. over the world. Yeah, oh, it's very cool. Yeah, so Gino, I love that. this heart is going to you. Enjoy. Yeah, Yay. look at my heart. <laughs> I love that. That is so beautiful Thank and you. so powerful. Yes. Um, and it... I, helps the ladies empower themselves. How long has the service been going? How long? Have you know, been I'm not sure. For okay. a while, for, I, I've known about it for about five or six years. Oh, that's beautiful. But I've just gotten for some reason it just really took off at our center wow. recently. So this is a beautifully sewn one. It is I, look at that. Yeah. Look at the detail on that. Yeah, yeah my hearts would be with yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good at the sewing thing. <laughs> they do look. They look like it would be simple. I always say, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. Well, you're, you're really good at the singing thing. You know? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay. So, yes, the link, the link, the link will be below uh, so that you, each and every one of you can go and donate and spread your love. Mm -hmm. And you can pass out hearts in your world, in your community, and be a part of this global community. Well, let me ask you this. Yes. My brain is like, ask what? Ask what? <laughs> <laughs> when you decided to make the decision to become a minister, <laughs> why? <laughs> she's scaring me the way she's looking at me. I, like, didn't, I, I didn't make the decision. <laughs> oh, oh, was uh, it? Was it just? Uh, yeah, it was God smacking me upside the head. <laughs> 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 yeah, but perhaps. It, sorry, no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> It doesn't come off. It doesn't okay. come off. <laughs> no, I don't even know. How long have you been a minister? I've been a minister since 2001, so that's like 17 oh, years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a long time. So you, yeah. you kind of know what you're doing now. Uh, yeah, I kind of do, but it keeps changing. You know, it's great. I'm like in this whole new phase. It's wonderful. Yeah, so yeah. what do you feel about technology, the way it's coming into ministries now? You know, streaming, I think it's super important for churches to start streaming. Yeah. I do. What do you feel about that? We don't stream. <laughs> <laughs> I know, which is one of the things we're going to change. Yeah. We're going to change that thing. Yeah, we, we could stream. We, we actually, for a while, we didn't have the capacity because of the setup of our building. You know, it's this ancient, uh, well, not ancient, really, but it's a, it's a historical landmark. Let's put it that way. They so, can't. Tear, tear it we down. can't tear down anything we no. can't change anything on the inside or the outside but we did we did um, and and the walls are really thick so the Wi-Fi signal has to be pretty mm. strong so we we just recently upgraded our Wi-Fi so we could probably start streaming at some point as of now we video the service and we put it on um, cable and, and on uh, YouTube we have a YouTube station as well oh beautiful yes um, so that, that that information will be below as well we'll oh, have that another there. shameful plug uh, yeah <laughs> great boy she's yeah. busy yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's done this thing a time or two. Uh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I really think it's so important because so many millenniums, millennials, um, really have found that sometimes just going to a church, it has a lot of old stories with it. Yeah, it does. You yeah. know, for yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, so being able to stream, I think, is really super important. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as we get ready to close out, Ernest Holmes is one of the founding fathers of New Thought. 
Who is your favorite teacher that you go to in your time when you really need something to anchor you? Oh, do I have to pick one? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, we only got X amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, the top five. I got, okay. I don't uh, know if I have five. I, I can give you three. Okay. okay. Look. <laughs> I'll um, take it. <laughs> yeah. So Nipun Mehta, who is the founder of Service Space, which is the India, the uh, the place where I, the organization that brought me to India. Okay. Um, he's a wonderful spiritual teacher who, um, who, lives this radical form of kindness that is like nothing I've ever seen before. Kindness oh, and generosity. I've met them. Yes, you've met him. Yeah, That's right. they're awesome. Yeah, yeah, oh they my are, God. They're amazing. Yeah. They are. They yeah. truly yeah. are. They're living what they everyone are. talks about Absolutely. they want. Living yeah. the principles. They yeah. are. They're living yeah. it. The other one is Richard Rohr, who is a Franciscan mystic who has a center called the Center for Action and Contemplation out in <sighs> um, in Albuquerque. And he's, he, I really love to serve people that have had a traumatic experience with Christianity. And he does a really beautiful job of redefining mm. Christianity. Mm. Um, and then the other one is Cynthia Bourgeau, who is a colleague of Richard Rohr's. And she's a, um, she's a writer and a, and a scholar and, a, and an Episcopal priest. And uh, we're currently working with one of her books right now called uh, Trinity and the Law of Three, and discovering that this beautiful thing, the system called the Law of Three, which I probably don't have time to <laughs> describe at the moment, is really a, a wonderful tool for reconciliation. Mm -hmm. So the main principles in our church, you know, people are getting kind of riled up about the state of the world. And the, the principles mm -hmm. that we're holding this year particularly are praying to see wholeness, practicing principles of reconciliation and then using kindness, preemptive kindness and also post-incident kindness as a way to dispel the illusion of separation because mm -hmm. when we're kind we really are living the principle that we all are one. Oh that's beautiful. That Thank is you. absolutely beautiful yeah. and very powerful and we will have the links to all those sure, people absolutely. that you spoke. We'll have the links below, 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 below. So we have to close out with our song. Okay, uh, it's Holy Way again? Yes, Holy okay. Way again, unless you have another song you want to do. Do you remember the words to Up, Up, and Away? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> uh, up, do you want, want to ride in my beautiful balloon? Way up, up in the, the sky in my beautiful balloon. balloon. <laughs> up, up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. <laughs> you got two songs for the week. I love that. All right. Well, I want to thank you for joining us here on Pass the Mic. And remember, we are one. We hold a vision. We are creating our here and now. Just you and me. Just you and me. I'll see you next week on Pass the Mic.